hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is john from programming knowledge and in this video guys we're gonna talk about the c go to statement okay so so far we have discussed the if statements and how it is used in c to control statement execution based on some conditions or decisions now the flow of execution also depends on other statements which are not based on conditions that can you know control the flow and of course c supports a unique form of a statement that is you know go to go to statement uh, which is used to branch unconditionally within a program from one point to another point inside our c program so although this is not a good habit to use you know go to statement in c but there may be some situations where we can use the go to statement and it might be you know desirable to to make use of the capability of the go to statement so the go to statement is used by programmers to you know change the sequence of execution of ec program by shifting the control to a different part of the same program so i think i have mentioned this before in our you know tutorial series that the execution of a c program is sequential you know uh like if you have statements from line six here seven and eight and nine so it will try to execute from line six seven eight nine ten sequentially okay but you know we have this uh, go to statement to control that particular flow we can go to the a certain point of our program by using the go to statement so basically this basic syntax of go to statement is like this we have uh, this particular syntax of our go to statement so we have this keyword go to and um, label okay and then of course we need to add label at some point in our program okay and of course the long version of this syntax is like this let me show you uh, real quick so we have like a uh, few lines and then we have the, uh, the label and then we have the statement okay and every time the program meets or found the go to statement so it will try to find the label that has been specified in this particular line so go to label and then it will skip the lines or statements between or other you know other statements and it will go directly to the label and it will execute the um, statements below the label in our c program now we can um, implement this and of course guys it can also be used to this is a forward uh, jump in our program because we have specified the go to statement and then it forwarded to the label uh, statements below okay but it could be also the backward jump of a program so for example after execution uh, execution of some lines it will jump into this particular um, label so after execution it will jump to this uh, label that's why it is called the backward jump in our uh, c program so, so for example if you have like no other label available here so it will jump the program execution from here and then go back to line 9 so that's how the backward jump inside our c program so let me just uh, clarify this uh, it is called backward if you know the go to label is here and then it will try to jump on top or the lines before that uh, go to label and it will uh, execute all the statements under this okay and it is called forward jump if the label is here so after this or after execution of this line it will try to go to this particular um, line label and it will execute the statements under this partic uh, particular label so now let's try this and let's just build 
a practical or simple implementation of this go to statement so let's just remove this and then we can try to ask for an age just like what we have from the previous video and then we can try to add the label so for example g and this will be uh, the label name okay and then of course we have a statement under this particular label so print f so, so for example we will try to execute this if the um, age is 18 so like you are eligible or something okay then we can try to add the new line here and then of course we can try to add another label so another label name and we can print um, you are not eligible okay something like this and we can also add the new line here okay and then of course we do have the statement to ask for the age so enter your age okay and then semicolon and then we can use the scanf function to get the actual value from the user so percent d which, which is the format specifier again and then ampersand and the variable name which is age and of course we can have the condition right here like um, if the variable age is greater than or equal to 18 then um, you can use the statement go to uh, the label g okay and else we can go to the label s okay now as you can probably observe here we are using if else but we don't have the curly braces right so you can do the if and else statement like this without the curly braces because we don't we only have one line in this particular or after the condition we have only one line and also uh, else we only have one line but if you have like five lines here you have to add the curly braces okay so in C programming it like understood if there's like one line to execute so there's no need to use the curly braces okay now we can try to run this and see how it works so for example build and run our application and try to evaluate and see how this particular program works so basically uh, it uh, executed line G and line S right so you are eligible and you are not eligible now if we try to go or input number 18 right here so it will try to uh, execute again the line 9 10 um, 11 and of course it's gonna you know ask for the age again right so it starts from this particular line 9 which is the uh, label uh, G because we have specified if the age is greater than or equal to 18 then it will try to go to label G now if we try to go to or input 16 so it will try to go to label or yeah line 11 which has the label s right and it will just display you are not eligible and it it did not execute the statement from line 9 or line 10 it directly uh, go to 11 uh, line or line 11 which has the label s and then it printed out the um, statement you are not eligible and also uh, it also adds the or I mean asked the age again and then it uh, asks for the uh, input from the user okay we can try this one more time so for example 15 so it's going to uh, execute all the lines starting from 
line 11 with the label uh, name S. Okay? So, guys, um, as I've mentioned uh, earlier, that the, the go-to statement is a unique form of statement. Okay? And sometimes, uh, it is not advisable to use go-to statement in your C program, but there are situations or conditions that you might want to use this particular go-to statement. So, for example, um, if the you uh, if you want to skip some of the lines in your program so let's try that okay so like for example you have statements like this print f and then this is the end of the program okay and then um, we can go like instead of using S we can add a label here E and then it will execute you know um, E instead of S so basically uh, after this condition returns false then it will execute this and it will call the label E and then execute that this is the end of our program so let's try that uh, execute or exit our program first and then build and run so let's try to input first 18 so it's going to you know um, execute from line 9 until line 15 and then if, if we try to input 10, then it's going to say this is the end of the program. Okay, so I think um, that's all there is to it in this tutorial, guys. And I hope that's clear on how to use the go to statement in C. So again, this is quite useful in some situations. And if you have questions, please let me know in the comment section below and we will try to answer your queries. And again, guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.